Hey guys, Michael from Fire and Brilliance, and welcome back to the FB Geminar. Today's episode will be about a topic that people are requesting. If you don't know already, uh, obviously I run a jewelry business uh, for this specific channel. It's called Fire and Brilliance. Our business is also called Fire and Brilliance. And what is Fire and Brilliance? Is all it is is a play on light to the naked eye when it comes to gemstones. So I'm going to break this down into a two-part series as to what fire and brilliance and what that really means when it hits a gemstone and reflects back into your eye. So I'm gonna start off with part one on and reverse that and work with the brilliance as opposed to the fire and I'm gonna get right into it. For you. <laughs> Alright, so if you really want to understand what fire and brilliance really means, all that is is the play on light as it enters a gemstone and reflects back into your eyes and what you see. So normally when people purchase gemstones and jewelry, it's more of a visual thing, right? So typically when people buy gemstones such as moissanite or diamonds, they really like that sparkly factor, the brilliance, the fire, what shows back into your eyes. So in order to understand that, I'm, the first part of this two-part series, I'm going to break down brilliance. Now, if you want to understand brilliance, then you have to understand the refractive index. All right, I will break down dispersion next week, which basically goes over fire. But the refractive index, all that basically means is that when light enters into a gemstone, how much does that bend the light? Now, what does that even mean, like bending the light, right? So, so in other words, there are two types of gemstones that will bend light, right? So one will be a single refraction, the second will be a double refraction, and all that basically means is that when light enters into a medium, so let's just say right now, I'm gonna actually show you an example. If you take a look at my hands, this is what you'll see right because you're seeing it through air this is the medium of air but if i was to hold up a glass of water it will not only enter through a, the medium which is glass but also water and if you see right my hands in between you won't be able to see my fingers completely because the light is bent that's all it means that's all it basically means so when light enters through a different medium how does that bend the light so that when you're actually visually seeing it, you're not able to see my clear hands, but you're seeing a different variation of it because the light is bent. So that's all it basically means. And there's two types, a single refraction as well as double refraction. So when it comes to gemstones is that most, time, most of the times uh, they will recognize what a diamond is, right? So diamonds will always be single refraction. So all that means is that when a light ray enters, it will bend in one ray. As opposed to moissanite and most gemstones, so most gemstones, not just moissanite, but most gemstones are doubly refractive. So it's double refraction, so all that basically means is that when light enters into, a diff into this gemstone, it actually breaks into two rays in different velocities, okay? So what does that actually mean? The higher the refractive index typically means the more brilliance. All right, and why is that the case? So, well, a refractive index, or RI, before moissanite was created, diamonds were known to be one of the highest refractive index, and therefore is, has a lot of brilliance and a lot of sparkle when you look at the gemstone. And that's the reason why diamonds are so popular, right? So as, it, as soon as it enters the light, and also depend, is dependent on the cut of the gemstone, but not to get too much into the cut, that's something that I've already covered in the past, Depending on how it's cut, as soon as it hits the gemstone, if it bends the light a lot or the refractive index, it will bounce around in the gemstone, bounce back into the crown, up into the crown of the gemstone, and it hits your eyes, so you get to see all that sparkle, the light, the reflection, which is basically why people love gemstones, because when you go outdoors, all that bling, if you will, goes right back into your eyes. Now. When it comes to moissanite, the refractive index is even higher, so that means it bends the light even more. So, so as, it, as it bends more and is doubly refractive, it gives it more of a sparkle. So that's all it basically means, and that's a breakdown of brilliance. So in other words, in short, 
if there is a higher refractive index, it bends the light much more. And, and depending on how the gemstones are cut, if it's cut proportionally in a specific way, it will reflect light back into the crown of the gemstones, back into your eyes, and that's typically what people are going for. Hope you guys like what you saw there. Again, this is a two-part series, so definitely check it out next time. I'll break down what fire really means and how you can pinpoint fire, okay? So uh, with that being said, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Definitely check out our other videos, especially if you're currently in the market to learn more about gemstones, more about jewelry, more about diamonds and moissanite or what have you. Hopefully all of the pieces of information, all of the videos that we've made in the past uh, may actually serve you uh, so that you can do what you need with it, especially if you're shopping for something and you need to, you want to learn more about, okay? Uh, so with that being said, we do have a notification bell at the bottom of YouTube. Just go ahead and click on it. Obviously, it doesn't look like this. It kind of looks like this, but if you click on that, every time a new video will show, it will pop up and it'll notify you on your phone, on your desktop, or what have you, okay? So with that being said, thank you so much again for subscribing to the channel. Uh, tune in next time for part two of this two-part series.